Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Washington, D.C. We're going to speak with uh, the CEO and executive director of the Organic and Natural Health Association. And that, of course, is our good friend, uh, Karen Howard. Karen, welcome back to Late Night Health. Been a while. Thank you. Yes, it has, Mark. Uh, me too, so hopefully that'll all change soon. Yes. Well, you have a, a great initiative. Uh, you've announced it last month, but it's uh, happening in literally a couple of weeks. So let's talk about that. Uh, you, this is the Organic and Natural Health Scholarship Fund uh, going to, uh, to help diversify uh, the uh, health industry. Would that be an accurate description? It would. I mean, what we're doing is working with a foundation that's been in existence for a while called the Williams Franklin Foundation, uh, created by two Howard University graduates. So we're actually raising funds to support HBCU students, historically backed black colleges and university students, and their educational needs. These are merit scholarships, and uh, we've created our own organic and natural health fund inside their organization so that we can begin to educate a whole new generation of extremely talented young people on the mission-driven elements of this industry as a whole. And what you're, what specifically do these young people bring to the table, so to speak? What are you looking it's, for? Right. Well, it's, you know, one, we know that the industry itself is not very diversified. You know, we have issues with, of course, women in leadership. We've talked about that a lot over the last couple of years. And now there's a conversation going on about the lack of diversity in people of color in the industry, which is actually reflected in large part by the, uh, the consumer, his or herself. You know, we, uh, you know, we talk about the fact that the, uh, the industry caters more towards a 35 to 55 year old college white graduate female um, and and so there's a big push from different areas within the industry to say one we know our what we do will help help outcomes in these populations who have really been hit so hard by COVID and other underlying health conditions so what can we do and, and that means we really have to educate um, a whole entire population on who we are and what we do and bring people to the table who are talented and are mission-driven, wanting to change the world like these young people are, who have these amazing skill sets. And you look at the statistics about graduates from HBCU, and by far the propensity of physicians, lawyers, uh, PhDs in the black community come from HBCU. So we're very excited to meet them. We've already uh, had the pleasure of being able to raise enough money for the foundation to award seven scholarships to these young people. So we're getting to know those new people that just got these scholarships and we're looking forward to being able to do more. By scholarships, is this uh, to pursue more education or set up a business? What is the purpose of the fund? It really is an educational scholarship. So, you know, in, in those terms, people talk about first dollars and last dollars. Obviously, um, a lot of these kids come from, you know, families that don't have the same means as my family had when we went to school. And, of course, school is just so much more expensive than I, I could have ever imagined it would be. So these are students who are needing funds to be able to complete their education, to fill in the gaps with what they're getting from federal grants, et cetera, and scholarships they earn from other places. So we're really working with undergraduate students to be able to raise money for the fund to give them these, these dollar amounts. And so what traditionally the board has done at the Williams Franklin Foundation, and this is completely up to them, we don't have any input on this at all, is to award $2,000 scholarships for each student. So they're able to, now they were able to give an additional seven scholarships for this school year that they didn't have before. And what are these kids majoring in? They're majoring in everything. Um, they're, they're majoring in everything from pre-med to accounting to, you know, what we've discovered is that if you look at the industry as a whole, we hire everything. You know, we need everything. We need PR. We need um, all kinds of media jobs. We need science jobs. You know, we need people who are interested in biology. And, these, 
and these awardees, you can look at their profiles and um, in some of the PR that we're doing, are all sort of, you know, in that mood of we want to have an impact on the earth with our college degrees and on people, and we want to change the health outcomes for our families and friends. And so you'll see a lot of degrees that fit towards a more medical model, um, and these young people are incredibly passionate about making those changes. And the the reason the Organic and Natural Health Scholarship uh, Fund was created was to help diversify the alternative health industry. And I'm saying alternative uh, in, in terms of, uh, I don't know, sup supplements, uh, acupuncture, uh, things of that nature, or is it across the board for all kinds of health? You know, it's really across the board. I mean, what what we know is, first of all, you, if you look at the industry, you see that uh, pharmaceutical companies are are buying up a lot of the really good quality brands in the marketplace, right? So there yes. is a need for everything from an engineer to a chemist um, to a psychology, to, you know, a really well-rounded person with a psychology degree. We don't. Our needs for hiring are not that different than any other industry in the world that cares about having the right kinds of employees. It's not necessarily about the degree. And we've kind of bucketed ourselves in a way, given my background, where we are always reliant on the alternative practitioners to carry our message, you know, the naturopaths, wellness coaches, health, you know, health coaches, acupuncturists. And in this way, this is really educating an entire generation of people that this is not off. Oh, this is this is mainstream now. You know the the number if you if you kind of mix all the statistics together, the number of people who are taking supplements is almost like a hundred percent. So we you know there's so much more we can do for education if we get more buy-in from people who understand the underlying work that goes into production of these products and the science behind it. So it really helps us educate uh, a broader array of people, even if people don't go into the industry. You know, we're giving them exposure. We're having conversations about internships, um, what that looks like in our industry, whether people are doing internships in our industry now, and how we can mentor leaders in our industry to be able to be good um you know, to bring in interns and use them well and help them, you know, advance. So it's a, it's almost like it's a kind of a new way of looking at building your workforce that actually benefits everyone from a health perspective as well. And that would be uh, uh, everybody, as you just said, uh, not just specific audiences, but having more representation of uh, people of color uh, providing health services or what we'll call the back end, the marketing, the public relations, the science, all of these areas. And that, of course, is what the the scholarship fund is all about. Right. Right. I mean, you know, um, it, it's always nice to be able to help a student in need to be able to finish their degree. And it's even nicer to be able to know that this gives us a platform that we can sustain you know, the great things about our industry and be able to educate more people so that they can access this. That the, the reason that I found this is because uh, in my boot camp, I am in the minority. And we work out every day down in Georgetown on the water. And as things shut down and people, you know, we, we, we were grappling with all the things that you, everyone grappled with, we actually brought Dr. Red Cross in on a Zoom call and educated everyone on vitamin D. So, of course, in this population, these are people who are very familiar with their health needs, um, are committed to a workout, working hard to improve their diet. And so the supplementation story was a new story for them. And they've learned a lot about it, um, and they're pretty committed uh, supplement users now, uh, much to their advantage, I'm quite sure. So that led to one of my boot camp colleagues who is on the board of the foundation and introducing me to the founders and that's how this took off. We're going to take a few minutes uh, to break and when we come back we'll continue our discussion on the uh, brand new organic and natural 
uh, health scholarship fund will get a place where if you want to make a contribution, you can. Uh, I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Our guest is none other than the fabulous Karen Howard, the CEO and uh, executive director of the Organic and Natural Health Association. Don't go away, more coming up. Late Night Health is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment. Recently, I met Jacqueline from Bright here in Los Angeles. She gave me a hearing exam and then showed me how to hear again with the new Signia Pure Series hearing aids. And she can give you your life back, too. I hear birds chirping, birds cooing, and even my wife. They easily connect to my smartphone. The Signia hearing aids are amazing. And with the charge and go, I don't have to fiddle with batteries and hear all day long. Not hearing is frustrating for you and your family. I know, you don't have a problem, but trust me, call Bright Here Now for a free hearing exam, a $125 value, yours free, just for making an appointment now. There are offices throughout the Los Angeles area. Call Bright Here Now at 323-424-7100. That's 323-424-7100 for a free hearing exam. There's no obligation. Call now, 323-424-7100, or visit them on the web at brighthere.com. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Words are a critical aspect of success. How you get your point across is a crucial part of what makes anything sell. So do it right and hire a writer. Whether it's articles, blog posts, technical writings, website content, product descriptions, or ghost writing anything from a novel to a nonfiction book about your navel, contact Servette Hassan. If you want it to sell, write it right. Email Servette at Servette at ServetteHassan.com. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Balance in life isn't about making everything equal. It's about sharing equal parts of your heart for each area of your life. Many people seem to struggle with bringing their life into balance. Family, work, and health all seem to be a challenge these days. Think of the demands you have on your own schedule and time. It can be frustrating and overwhelming. What's most important to discover is that peace is not about finding a quiet place among the chaos. Peace is about listening for the divine whispers of love amidst this turmoil. Take a breath and you will find balance. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. We are talking with our friend Karen Howard. Uh, we've just made arrangements to kind of have a, an adult beverage uh, just before uh, this event. It's taking place in Las Vegas, and um, uh, we are talking about the Organic and Natural Health 
uh, uh, Association uh, Scholarship Fund, and we're going to give you a place where you would like to make a contribution, you can. Uh, Karen, tell us uh, why Vegas? What's happening in Las Vegas? So Vegas, is, this is one of the places we go every year as an industry, and it's called Supply Side West. It basically is representative of the entire supply chain. So all the ingredients and the manufacturing and the sourcing that goes on to go into a dietary supplement, that is... Um, that, those are the people that are there distributing, you know, their knowledge and showing off their new innovations, their new products, their new ingredients. And the people shopping in this large mart are basically the brands that we all know and love. So you get the brands there. You don't have the retailers at this one. That's really the only thing that's missing. Um, but it's, it's a really great opportunity to um, be creative in your conversations and Get to, you know, people are, are constantly developing new things and new ideas from having what you know, 30,000 people on the floor. She's fading out. Hold on a second. We're, uh, we have a little issue here. You want to call back? What do you want to do, Daryl? Um, just... Karen, were you leaning away from the phone for a second? or? I might have been for a second. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's just pick it up from uh, your last question, Mark. We just re the last question. All right, which was uh, ask about the, okay, ask about the group. Karen, tell us why Las Vegas and uh, what's happening there. Every year, um, non-pandemic anyway, we have gathered in Las Vegas <laughs> for what's called Supply Side West. And it's an event where hundreds of exhibitors are there to, to show the brands that we all buy off the shelves the new ingredients, the new processing mechanisms, the new tools of the trade that they're using to improve the quality and um, access, the quality of the ingredients and the products that everybody wants to use. So it's a big shopping mart for all the brands. And it's a great place for innovation and really clever conversations about being creative and improving everything that we do on a regular basis. It's generally around 30,000 people. And this year, I think they don't expect that many. No, I'm hearing, you know, rumors are, are around. I mean, I'm hearing some are around 10,000, which still sounds like a lot of people to me. Uh, yes. But I do know of a lot of people that will not be traveling this year. So that's been an interesting kind of dynamic that we've started to witness as everything opens up. Uh, and just before the, uh, the the show floor opens up, there are two days of uh, of educational seminars and uh, and panels discussing all kinds of 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 things. From I saw one on prostate health, uh, I and and it goes on and on in, in talking about. A variety of ways the industry can can help people all over the world maintain and achieve great health. It, it's very true. I mean, there are things on probiotics. I mean, every topic that you can imagine, people are there talking about all the work that they're doing. It's it's a real um, it's a it's a real awakening for people who think that there is no science behind what it is we do because this is all science-based conversation. And they just completed a similar show in Geneva, which they also do every year. So it is an international audience, and there will be people from around the world that come into Vegas just for this. Yes, uh, I've been going to this for years. Uh, you and I have, have hooked up at, at this and other shows over the years and talked. And if we have the time, we'll find a, a way to... to do an update while we are there and find out how much money has been raised uh, for the uh, scholarship fund. Uh, we're going to give, let's give that right now. What, if somebody is interested uh, and write this down, folks, we'll, we'll have this on our site too. What is the, uh, the website where people can go to make a contribution uh, to the organic and natural health uh, scholarship fund? 
Well, I think what I'll do is I'll send you directly to the Williams Franklin Foundation website. That's the easiest way to go. So you want to go to www.wms, for Williams, Franklin, F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N, foundation.org, forward slash donate. And that's probably the quickest oh. way for any individual to be able to make a tax-free donation. You know, there's a drop-down menu where it, the question is, is how did you hear about us? And if you drop down, you can see it's the Organic and Natural Health Fund. And that's an easy way. Do that one more time, just of very course. quickly. WMS, F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N, foundation, dot org, forward slash donate. Then you can it. also have time to kind of peruse uh, the foundation site itself and really learn about the founders and their, and their amazing story about how they created this and the work that they're doing um, to help these students. Uh, let's uh, spend the last couple of minutes talking about the Organic and Natural Health Association. Uh, you're really there to help maintain the health of people. We pride ourselves on representing the entirety of the supply chain, which always includes everything from raw ingredient suppliers to retailers, independent retailers, and consumer organizations. So everything our organization does is driven by what will benefit the consumers most. And recently we had the opportunity to gather just a small group of us in Mackinac Island, Michigan, where we had a really interesting and vibrant conversation about the issues um, that are, you know, challenging to us right now, whether that's supply chain or um, just access and how our media issues. And it was, a, it was a very productive conversation, one that will continue at our annual conference in January. And I have attended that and look forward to trying to be there in January as well. I'm, I'm curious about something you said, and that is that Supplements are science-based. The ones that are, are featured um, at Supply Side West, I mean, with all the, the uh, panels and discussions and presentations, it's just obvious that a lot of science goes into the development of supplements. And you mentioned a lot of people don't know that, especially docs. In about 60 seconds, can you tell us more about that? I, you know, in the old days, we used to believe that we could get everything we needed from food. Uh, and, and everyone knows that food is your best source of health that you can get, right? Over time, right. though, we've realized um, because of the depletion of the soil and a lot of other factors, whether that's glyphosate or a million other reasons, not always does our food have the nutrient density that we need. Therefore, we are required to supplement. And some supplements you can't get from food like vitamin D. So the industry itself has done a lot of work on uh, bioavailability um, in terms of how you, when you take turmeric or when you take vitamin D, how that gets, or magnesium or any of the other ones, how does your body absorb that effectively? How do you measure that as well? And so that work has gone into some really interesting areas with prebiotics and probiotics. And the science behind it is always about how to maximize the nutrient value of what it is you're putting into your body in a capsule, a pill, or and a liquid. And that's, and, um, and that, that of course, what you are getting I, food. and that's why uh, uh, science is uh, involved with this karen we're out of time good luck with the um with the scholarship fund i would look forward to seeing you there i will be in attendance and uh, if you want information uh on natural on the organic and natural health association what is that url what is that website organic and natural dot uh karen karen howard the uh, ceo and uh executive director of organic and natural. Uh, I'm Mark Allen. We're out of time. I got to be real quick. Thanks, Daryl. We appreciate everything you do. Toodaloo. And uh, toodaloo to you at home as well. Uh, have a great week. Have a good week. Most importantly, have a healthy week. We'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. <laughs>